So I have played this game for a while, seen many versions of it. There's certainly been lots of changes made to DST throughout the years. Some pretty great, and others rather questionable. Did I do that? If you're on PC, mods always have your back. Don't like something Clay did? You can usually revert it for yourself by visiting the workshop. Many people that submit here usually tend to have something or the other to make their lives a little more easier with the game. And a lot of things here really are interesting. But now there's a lot of things you can actually do with modding that basically feel like they should just be in the game. And over time Clay has added some of this, like Flingo Range and other detectors. I'm going to showcase three mods here, just ones that I've started to use more often now since there were some changes made by Clay. First one that you may see in my videos is the crafting UI. It doesn't look like the same one that you might see when you enter the game. That's because this crafting UI is the old school crafting UI used within the single player and originally Don't Starve Together. They changed it up and revamped it so that way they can add more content to the crafting menu. Mainly so that way they can add more objects that have more ingredients. So well, the whole reason they made this change is so that way you can have docks. Because this is the only item that has more than three items. The whole crafting change was just to consolidate crafting a little more, where the only way you can craft was by being next to a station. This was done primarily for decorations and turfs and especially characters too. But that's beside the point. I don't like it. It's slow, it's clunky, you gotta click way more times than you need to in order to use it. The only good thing about it is the search function and the pins, which is basically like setting your crafts to the old style but you gotta take what you can get. I was used to the older crafting UI, so I just couldn't get used to the new one. I don't like the way the new icons look and there's way too many. I preferred the limited amount of older ones because you're able to know what was where in the older one. Yeah, this new one has more items and more filters to separate things. Luckily though, if you still really like the old one, there is a mod called Hybrid Crafting Menu. This mod allows the player to swap between the new crafting menu and the old crafting menu. So that way you can get the best of both worlds. I personally stick to the older one just cause I like the sleekness of it. It doesn't take up as much space as the new one. And I'll sacrifice pins for being able to use the icons and older movement. Next mods deal with some of the recent changes, namely the slower action speed that is affecting players now. These mods don't fix it completely, but it does help in making actions go faster. These mods being Action Queue and Don't Starve Alone. Don't Starve Alone is a simple mod that would make things much faster if you prefer playing DST alone, hence the name. This cuts out all of the server networking processes when you make a solo world, so every action and loading and unloading should feel much snappier and faster than it normally would be. I love what it says in the mod description here, saying it's Clay's job to optimize the game, not the modders. It's kind of just funny in the irony of the video and where I'm highlighting exactly that. And next is Action Q. Action Q can do lots of things, but right now I want to highlight how Action Q affects chopping and mining, which is what's currently being fixed by Clay. You can see here the difference of Action Q versus holding the mouse button. It is slightly faster than just holding the mouse button now, so you are able to save yourself some more time. However, the main problem is that this mod has a bit of a learning curve on it. You have to really read and see what everything does and how to activate the stuff. But other than that, you could also use it for other things such as planting. Action Q does have a small fix to the current speed aspect of doing chores around the base, and you guys should certainly check it out. I have all the links for these mods in the description. Try them out for yourself. Until next time, I hope you have a good one. Take care.